Good afternoon everyone, I'm Lee Jiawei and today my group and I will be presenting the marketing strategy about Hello World Travel Limited. Hello World Travel Limited is a travel distribution organization headquartered in Australia, giving worldwide and household venture out travel products and administrations to customers around the globe. Hello World Travel was propelled in 2013 after the after the union of inheritance brands Harvey World Travel, Travel Sins, Jet Set, and Travel World. A merger with the AOT Group followed in 2016, and the business name was changed to Hello World Travel in 2017. Truth Talk Notch Strategy approaches and useful associations with the two clients and providers, the organization has developed into the dynamic association that is, is today, offering incorporated travel arrangements over all divisions of the business. With generous, with generous worldwide activities, HLO's amazing purchasing structures conveys uh, advertise driving outcomes to the two its individuals and its customers. Remarkable administration and customized corporate and realization head out arrangements add to Hello World Travel Limiteds. Extraordinary notoriety, extraordinary notoriety and results. The purpose of this report is to analyze through the research on the Hello World Travel Limited, identify in the market situation and marketing mix situation. Competitive situation is to find out the best competitors and having to know about its competitor situation and then micro environment is identified by the pastel framework. This will lead to the SWOT analysis that opportunities will be identified before the recommendation being provided. Hi, I'm Benedict, and today I'll be presenting on the market and con and customer situation of Hello World Travel. First up, I'll be presenting on the industry and competition that Hello World Travel faces. In 2017, more than 7.9 million international travellers came to Australia for a total of 256 million nights, injecting about 51 billion into the Australian economy. Visitors travel to Australia and New Zealand for a variety of reasons, which includes, and they include business reasons, vacations, visiting friends and families, so on and so forth. Australia's tourism industry has acquired the support from different industries, including aviation, for example, Australian Airlines, Jetstar Australia, and Virgin Australia. For the art, arts and culture segment, we have the opera, a gallery, hospitality industry, hospitality industry, mines industry, outdoor entertainment industries, etc. However, the competition in this industry is fierce and at the same time intense. In addition, these different travel agencies diversify their travel products or services. They provide more different services such as international and domestic airline reservations, travel and package travel booking, accommodation reservations, cruise booking, car rental and other services. The new technology is also introduced by these travel agencies such as e-commerce, e-payment, algorithm technology for matching the travel products to the different consumers. And this makes the com competition even more intense. Alright, next up I will be presenting on the target markets of Hello World Travel using S the STP theory, which stands for segmentation, targeting, and positioning. So for segmentation, there are two parts to it. First part is a psychological fragmentation. The target consumers have intention to travel for different reasons, including business travel, relaxing, holiday, so on and so forth. 
They like to travel and they accept the travel product and services designed by the travel agency but not by themselves. For the behavior segmentation, the target consumers seek to have a good travel experience through enjoying the designed travel products and service. The individual seeks to relax themselves or achieve their personal aims. The organization also seeks to organize a perfect travel for their consumers and employees. For targeting, Hollower Travel Limited targets on the individuals who have high income level and can afford the travel products and services. These people should have, should have incurred middle or high income level. Then, the organization should have good financial situation and have enough financial ability to support the employees reward travel business travel and etc for the positioning hello world travel limited provides the travel products and service with high price and high quality all right i'm next i'll be presenting on the consumer behavior issues motivation can influence the consumer behavior of tourists Travelers' motivations include enriching their horizons through life's unique and interesting experiences, enriching their understanding of the world, making the most out of their lives, by sharing special moments with their loved ones, experiencing local culture, and so on. This will help to emphasize the importance of the concept of travel experience. Therefore, Hello World Travel Limited should consider improving the travel experiences of tourists by providing them with services that will cater to to their to their customers' needs. Hello, me Utsav Gupta is demonstrating the marketing mix elements and the competitive situation of Hello World Limited. The company's marketing offerings are wholesale retail and travel management which are designed to meet the needs wants and the demands of the customers the market capital for hello world travel limited is australian dollars 572 million which states it has outperformed the hospitality industry by minus 8.4 percent and underperformed the australian market by 5.1 percent as compared to the shares last year hello world uses an imc strategy for promoting their products which include online and direct marketing, print and press media, social media, emails and sale techniques. The physical locations where Hello World provides its services are continent based which are Australia, New Zealand, Asia and the South Pacific. Based on the results from the past year, the organization has a total of 1807 full-time employees who are clearly committed to honesty in terms of charges that may apply. More importantly, all the needs and assistance follow up until your last trip has ended. So these were the marketing mix, now we switch on to the competitive situation. So, Hello World exists within an industry where the competition is huge, barriers to entry are low, and the barriers to disruption are high. To beat various competitors like Flight Center, Webjet Limited, Thomas Cook Group, and American Express Company, Hello World should introduce cheaper pricing schemes and focus on brand differentiation plus the awareness. The competitive advantage gained by Hello World's key competitors are through promoting corporate social responsibilities, using a rental but, but a perfect geographic location, with an automated environment with, with the best use of technology. They also offer a 24-hour service center, whereas Hello World has fixed operating hours due to less number of staff. The organizations focus on establishing new strategies like increasing payrolls of its employees and offering mobile-friendly websites since, they, since the technology shift from computers to cell phones. The market comparison of Hello World Limited should be used to understand where does the company position with respect to its competitors. 
it is necessary that Hello World offers a unique product design to enhance its quality. The products should use elements like variety, features and augmented services in order to beat its competitors. Also, any changes to the pricing can affect the revenue or reduced market share since it occupies only 12% over the Australian travel agency. Since Hello World Limited is mainly sec se sectoring Australia and New Zealand, the competitors in the technology developed countries can use various factors to beat Hello World. The only way for Hello World to outcast all its competitors is to gain people's trust by promotions since it has a better tactic at promotions than its competitors. Hi, I'm Jian Luo. Today I will be presenting the macro environment analysis. A pastel framework was applied to improve the research quality. Here are some key highlights. For political, Australia has high score and high ranking in Roban's WGI analysis. The basic tax rate of company is 30% in Australia. This is a bit high, but it is still acceptable. For economic, the data published by Trading Economic shows a constant growth in disposable personal income in Australia. Australia's economic ranked in 14th in the world. For social, Australia's personal satisfaction ranked in 7th in the world. There is a reducing rate in working age between 2009 to 2016. Also, the data shows that Australian has high willingness to have a travel. For technological, Australia is one of the main data consuming country in the world. In 2018, Australian consumed 3.8 exabyte data and it was increased by 7% comparing to 2017. New innovations like QR code and navigation technology inspired the willingness and the style of traveling. For legal, piracy at 1988 is the law protecting personal information about individuals like passport, IC, and so on. That is the basic rules standardize our action. For environmental, Australia's land scale cross three time zones. A known issue is that Australia is the one of the driest area in the world. For a short summary, Australia has a stable political system for business to grow. It shows a good prospect to do travel agent business in Australia with the association of technology and people's willingness to travel itself. Next, I will pass it to Brian to do SWOT analysis. Hello, I'm Brian and I will be doing a SWOT analysis. For strength, it uses connection oriented strategy, emerging markets focus and Festival Global Hub Model. Hello World has a strong market leadership position in the personal service industry. It has helped the company to rapidly scale new product successes. Hello World provides exhaustive product mix option to its customers. It has helped the company in catering to various customer segments in the personal service industry. Over the years, Hello World Travel Limited has invested in a in building a strong brand portfolio. The SWOT analysis of Hello World Travel Limited just proven these facts. This brand portfolio can be extremely useful if the organization wants to build more products. Successful track record of combining complementary firm through mergers and acquisition. It has successfully combined number of technology companies in the past few years to streamline its operation and to build a reliable supply chain. ES also have a strong free cash flow that provide resources in the hand of the company to expand into new new projects. Hello World Travel Limited has built up many of expertise before entering new markets 
which makes them successful. The expansion has helped the organization to build new revenue stream and diversify the economy sector risk in the market which it operates in. Secondly, for weaknesses, it has higher ticket prices, high depreciation and operating costs. Within the hollow world, few employees are responsible for the hollow world's knowledge base and replacing them with extremely difficult in the present condition. Low investments into hollow world's customer-oriented services also can lead to competitors gaining advantage in the near future. Hollow world need to increase investment into research and development, especially in customer service-oriented application. The company has not been able to tackle the challenge just present by the new entrants in the segment and has lost quite a number of market shares in the G categories. The company need more investment in new technologies. Given the scale of expansion and different geography, the company is planning to expand into Hollywood's travel limited needs to put more money in more technology to improve the process across the board. Even though Hollow World Travel Limited is one of the leading organizations in the industry, it has faced challenges in moving to other product segments with its present culture. Financial planning is not done properly and efficiently. The current set the current asset ratio to liquid asset ratios shows that the company can use the cash flow more efficiently than what it is doing at the present. Not highly successful at integrating firms with different company, different work culture, even though Hollower Travel Limited is successful at the integrating small company, it has shown failure when merging firms that have difficult, dif uh, different work culture. Next, opportunity. Emerging market growth expand existing roads, cargo industry. New trends in the customer behavior can improve new markets for the Hello World Travel Limited. It provides a great opportunity for the organization to build new market streams and diversity into new product categories too. The new opportunity will create a level playing field for all the players in the industry. It shows a great opportunity for Hello World Travel Limited to be at its advantage in new technology and gain market shares in the new product category. Decreasing cost of transportation because of its low shipping prices can also bring down the cost of Hollow World Travel Limited products, therefore providing an op opportunity to the market, to the company, either to boost its profitability or pass on the benefit to the cus customer to gain market shares. Lower inflation rate. The lower the low inflation rate can bring more stability in the market and also enable credit at lower interest rate to the cust to the customer of Hollow World Travel Travel Limited. New customer from online channel over the past few years the company has invested a lump sum of money into the online platform. This investment has opened new sales channel of for Hollow World Travel Limited. In the past few years, in the next few years, the company can leverage this opportunity by knowing its customer better and serving them to their needs using big data analytics. Stable free cash flow provides opportunity to invest in adjacent products segment. Last but not least, for threats, rise of other Gulf Airlines competitors copying not in alliance. Over the years, the company has developed many numbers of products, but those are often respond to the development by other players. Secondly, the supply of new products is not regular, therefore leading to high and low swings in the sales number over a period of time. The demand of the high profit, high profit products is seasonal in its nature, and un any unlikely event during the peak season may impact the profitability of the company in short or to medium term. Imitation of the counterfeit and low quality product can be a threat towards Hollow World Travel Limited's products, especially in the emerging marketing and low income markets. Stable profitability has increased the 
number of players in the industry over the last two years, which has put downwards pressure uh, on not only profitability, but also an overall sales liability loss in different countries are different and however traveling term may be exposed to various liability claims given change in policy in those markets. In conclusion and recommendation, the overall demonstration of Hello World Travel Limited is strategic but is cemented only within Australia and New Zealand. The company's management ratio is better than that of its marketing ratio because of certain competitive, competitive factors and keeping a mindset of spreading the country nationwide. Instead of international marketing strategies, this can allow global firms within Australia to challenge and outcast Hello World in its own base country. The company should be motivated towards using innovation and the best core technologies in the market. For example, the, the company needs to build its own application which is mobile friendly. Since the changing trend shifting from computers to cell phones, is highly proportional to customers' needs. The funds for the mobile friend, for the mobile friendly application can be implemented by avoiding extra funds being used on training the workforce. It should necessarily participate in offensive and defensive marketing strategies as quickly as Hello World is free of its debts. Established companies are consistently facing assaults by fresh entrants and incumbents attempting to reposition or enhance their competitive position. It will be better for, for defensive strategies to work if they are set before the challenger comes to the industry, for example, make investment or other types of engagement. Defending a stance is a simpler because it needs less resources than offensive strategies. For fresh entrants, incumbents have several benefits including the economies of scale, capital requirements, switching costs, brand loyalties and brand recognition. In order to launch a successful, successful attack, attacking companies need three times more resources than protecting companies. But market are dynamics, arenas in which companies attempt to grow into their sectors or place themselves within their sector in other sections. Therefore, Hello World requires participating in offensive strategies to achieve its growth goal.